Artist Tanya Garner Thomas is creating sculptures by welding steel and bronze. The artwork she creates is inspired by her love of horses. To me, there is a presence that a horse has. It is a magic, it's a force, a force of life that is manifested in a creature. This love of horses can be seen throughout her paintings and sculptures. I do a lot of kinds of artwork. This particular show is paintings in acrylic on canvas, mostly about the motion and fluidity and color of horses. She is drawn to a theatrical stage lit look that has often been compared to the look and feel of Cavalia. They certainly have that in a theater setup, a show of what I think I do with my paintings. And I do like that sort of stage lit look. The rock stars with their, you know, one side of their face will be blue, the other side will be red. I just love that stage lighting thing. Tanya remembers one special horse who she had to give away due to health issues, but the connection she shared with him continues to inspire her. That horse gave me the best gift I had ever had from a horse, which he let, he helped me and I helped him, but uh, to ride him bridleless, we did like sideways, open a gate, go over a jump, do a figure eight, flying lead change, spins. Tanya's work in sculpture was inspired by her father, who himself was a prolific sculptor. He's the one that inspired me and supported me to do the metal work and the sculpture, learn to weld, learn to not to be afraid of metal, learn to use power tools. Whether it's colorful paintings or elaborate metalwork, Tanya's art is constantly inspired by her passion for horsemanship, though the horses haven't always made it easy. Okay, I've been stepped on, bitten, kicked, bucked off, run away with had my heart broken, but I keep on climbing back into it and doing it again. And why, for every one of those things, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of incredible highs you get from working with a horse. For Shaw TV, I'm Jen McDonald.